Hey guys, what's going on? If you're new here, welcome. My name is Brittany Nicole, and I don't know if I've been watching too much Pam and Tommy lately, but I have been dying to do a cool toned smoky eye that was flattering on my hooded eyes, or if you have mature eyes, mature eyes, or mono lids, easy to achieve and use minimal shadows, right? I have two eyeshadows on my eye plus a super shock shadow. That is it. I promise you, if you've struggled with smoky eyes or using cool tones, this video will help. So I'm gonna keep this intro very short and sweet. If you are interested in learning a little bit more about how I apply eyeshadow to my hooded eyes, about how I use shimmers, and how to use minimal shadows with maximum impact, go ahead and keep watching. My cat just started eating. If you hear that sound, I'm sorry. I swear they know when I start filming, they're like, okay, let's figure out how we can make the most noise possible. <laughs> so sorry, he'll be done in a second, but I did go ahead and prime my lids a little bit and I just used a little bit of the Rose Ink Concealer. I know a lot of people say don't prime your lids with concealer, but it works for me. The reason people say that is because concealer isn't meant to be a primer, right? So it's emollient and it might move the shadows around. It might not, you know, make your shadow last all day, but that's not why I use it. I truly use it to conceal the veins a little bit in my eyes. I have very transparent lids, so you can kind of see that. But with that said, I have very, very dry lids right now. I just traveled from Arizona to Chicago, and whenever I travel, my whole face just dries out. So it's gonna be a little bit rough, especially on this eye by the lid. I don't know if you could see it on camera, but keep that in mind, I'm keeping this real, okay? I have dry lids, you might have dry lids, you might have something else going on. This is real life, people, and we're just gonna make the eyeshadow work. So I'm gonna get started with this shade right here, which is called Sio, S-I-O, and I'm taking that on this Wet n Wild Fluffy brush, and I'm just gonna start working that right through my crease. So I haven't played with this palette yet, but I do wanna show you, I just dipped into that color, and there is a decent amount of kick up with that shade, so we'll see if there's fallout. Sometimes that happens when shadows are just really soft, it just doesn't seem to be picking up super heavy on my brush, which is a little bit weird. So I don't know, we'll have to see. Maybe this palette isn't gonna be great, I don't know. And if you have hooded eyes, the best thing to do, in my opinion, is take a mirror, hold it down so you can look down and really access where your orbital bone is. I can physically see it, but I also know from doing my shadow so much where it is. So I'm gonna hold my mirror down here and I'm gonna apply that right into the crease. And I literally do not see anything going on. Oh, well, there we go, that's a little better. Yeah, okay. So it might just be one that we have to kind of build up. I'm gonna switch over to a MAC 217 to get a little more in this area right here. You know, I think it's just that brush for some reason that the color doesn't wanna pick up on. So I, did I just get some on my nose? Nope, I didn't. <laughs> this brush doesn't seem to wanna work with this shade. So I'm gonna stick with the 217. I just had to move the cat's water bowl because Theo decided to start drinking. So Stanley was eating, Theo is drinking, and um, yeah, it's like they just know. So I'm also kind of bringing this down. Man, you can really see my eyelid uh, veins today. And I don't have any foundation on or concealer on the face, obviously, except for what I primed with, so sometimes things look a little weird until you get your whole face on. So CO is in the crease and down kind of maybe a fourth of the way in. And I think I'm actually gonna just apply this all over the lid. So if you were doing this at home, I would just start by applying it all over the lid and then work up from there. I just think I want a little bit of a base before we go in with that super shock shadow. And I think that literally might be all I do. Yeah, it's so interesting that this applies so much better with natural hair brushes. Like I have old Mac brushes where they're actual, I, I can't remember what kind of hair they are, but they're not synthetic. And the product just applies so much better 
with that versus a synthetic like this wet and wild brush which is interesting calling coming from color pop so if you have natural hair bristle brushes i definitely recommend using that otherwise you're going to have a hard time building up color but when you do build it up it's really pretty i definitely could have just applied my makeup before this but that's that's okay so i'm gonna grab that super shock shadow in deck i mean come on it's so pretty I'm gonna take that on my pinky because I have chubby little fingers, but look at that. It's like liquid metal. Oh gosh, so pretty. So I use my pinky because it's just easier for me to kind of get in the corners where I need to. And I like to use the same hand as the side I'm applying. So starting at the lid, I'm gonna just kind of start to place this on all the way over the lid kind of blending it up i'm gonna kind of go right up to the crease it's the point of laying down that shadow first i might have to get in the inner inner corner with a brush but the point of laying down that shadow first is so you basically just have that shadow so it diffuses into nothing grabbing a little brush here I'm gonna kinda tap that inner corner. I'm gonna get this outer corner as well. And then I'm grabbing that 217 again. And so gently, I'm just gonna kinda make sure there's not a harsh edge. I didn't put anything on this brush, it's just whatever is left over. And there goes George now drinking, who like never drinks during the day. I swear, they're just setting me up. All right, so now that this eye is blended out, I'm just gonna kinda sit back and look at both eyes and see it where I wanna apply a little bit more. I really do like this brush for applying with the Super Shock Shadows. It's the AOA Studio E131. I got this in a set, so I don't think you can buy it by yourself, but or by itself, <laughs> you can buy it by yourself. But I just wanna make sure everything looks even. So I'm gonna pat a little bit more on the outer corner here. Kinda match this guy, a little more here. Bring this up. I just kinda, the point is you wanna like sit back and just kinda take everything in before, you know, going on to the next step. So I think I'm gonna take a little bit of this shade right here, which is in the zone, and I wanna pop that a little bit in the crease as well. So I'm gonna use the Smith 230, I think that's what this is, and I'm just gonna kinda refine, I guess, the shape a little bit here. This is a, a warmer cool in the palette but I like this and I think this will be great under the eye so I'm just grazing the edges I'll be honest I don't know if I love this palette yet I don't know. All right, so I'm gonna finish the rest of my makeup off camera. I'll leave everything down below. It's everything I always use. You guys know I'm a creature of habit. And I'm gonna clean up the outer corner a little bit here. Um, and then we'll come back, finish the lower lash line together, and this will be done. So most of the rest of my makeup is on. Again, that will all be listed down below if you're interested in seeing what I have on the rest of my face. But let's go ahead and finish up the lower lash line. As I was doing this, I was just like, once you have the rest of your makeup on, things just look so much better. It's so weird to me when I do my eyes first because I don't typically do that. So I'm gonna grab the In The Zone shade first, that kind of warmer shade on this pencil brush from like Sally Beauty from maybe, when, when did I start doing makeup? When I was like 17, 18? I don't know, somewhere around there. So this is an oldie but a goodie. And I'm gonna look up and I'm just gonna really kind of Work that under the eye and connect it with the outer corner here. Bring it all the way in and really smoke it out. And you guys, I have two eyeshadows on and a super shock shadow. So easy. 
And then with a smaller smudgy brush, this is a Sigma E21, I'm gonna grab the first shade we started with, CO, and I'm gonna push that right up under the eyes. We are very smoky and I am obsessed with it. This is very like grungy looking. I'm I'm so thrilled. It's actually like the day people are celebrating St. Patrick's Day and it makes me wanna go out. I'm not going to, but it makes me wanna go out just to show the eyeshadow. So I'm gonna grab my dual ended Charlotte Tilbury eyeliner and I'm gonna grab the dark side here. And I did pop a little in my upper waterline, but I'm gonna pop it in the lower waterline as well. And I'll save you from watching this cause I don't like watching people like lift their eyes and then touch their eyes. So you know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> I just gave my lashes a really good curl and I'm gonna go in with the Milani highly rated anti-gravity mascara. I haven't tried this yet, but I wanna really, really work this into the lashes cause I'm not gonna be going in with any kind of false lashes. My eyes have just been way too sensitive and dry lately. I know I would end up crying all the makeup off. So I'm gonna go in with quite a few coats of this on the top and a couple on the bottom. I haven't tried a new mascara in quite a while because you guys know how much I love tubing mascara so I kind of stick with the Thrive Cosmetics but this is nice. It's really separating. It's not clumpy at all but it's also really lifting. That is good stuff. Mascara is done. I really like the Milani. I think that really gave me full lashes with no false lashes whatsoever. So I'm excited about that. Pick this up if you see it in store. And then I did go in on the lower lash line with the MAC Extended Play because the uh, brush is just a lot easier to get under there and really coat your lashes quickly. So let's finish everything up with lips. I got these uh, signature lips from Merit. I got two colors. You guys know how much I love Merit. They're a clean beauty line, really, really nice stuff. I have a whole video when they launched uh, about a year ago. So I have two colors here. I have Baby, which I think I'm gonna go in with. First of all, look at how beautiful, okay, the packaging is. I love it, but I think this is gonna be a really really nice color for you know a cool toned eye but i did want to show you the other shade i picked up millennial or they sent me these actually so i didn't pick them up but this is like the perfect my lips but better shade so i wanted to show you guys this it's lightweight it's hydrating it's buildable you can't go wrong so let's go ahead and pop this on i'm like seriously living my 90s girl fantasy right now I love it. Um, I'm gonna take the Thrive lip gloss off though. I always have a little lip gloss on as I'm getting ready because as you guys know from this video, my entire face is dry. So let's go in with Baby. I mean, come on. One, two, three swipes, full coverage, nice and hydrating. I love the color. You know what else is nice about this? The shape. You can really, cause it has this, excuse the dirtiness from me just doing it, but because you have this shape, you can really fully coat your lips and it's nice and like sharp on the tip so you don't even need liner. This is good. This is good stuff, you guys. Mm. Yes. I think we're done, but you guys know I always like to take a little bit of my blush. This is the e.l.f. I'm obsessed with these e.l.f. Bite Size Duos. I'm seriously obsessed. I'm gonna take the blush side, which is what I have on my face. I'm just gonna run a little bit of that through the crease. I'm not doing this to like change shape or change anything really. I just like everything to look seamless and I think this is just the finishing touch that every eyeshadow look needs. So I'm not touching any of the gray. I'm really just kind of going above. Mm-hmm. That's what we needed. That's 
what we needed. All right, so that is it. I hope this video was helpful. You guys, this was two shadows and a super shock shadow. That is it. And I feel like I look 100% ready to go out to like a black tie event right now if I wanted to, or just throw on some sweats and like a little vest and go hang out with my friends. This is so versatile, it's so comfortable. I cannot stand when I have a ton of eyeshadow on my eyes and I'm just uncomfortable. I always wanna be comfortable. I always want my eyeshadow to look flattering on my hooded eyes. Obviously, we all want our eyeshadow to look flattering, right? But I think this is super pretty. I think I'm on the fence still about this palette. The mattes were just a little bit weird. I love the effect I got, but the, the two matte shades are a little bit weird. I'll still have to play with everything else. Those shimmers look beautiful, but this ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in deck, please pause this video and go pick this up at Ulta. I think it's $6 and you can use a coupon if you buy something else, so yeah. I'm impressed. Oh, one other thing I wanted to talk about that I used on my face. The Juvia's Place Bronzed Palette in Light. Stunning. Blends like a dream. This is gorgeous and it's so nice. Like, I don't know if you guys can see my, I'm sure you can see. I kind of look like I have a skin disease right now. My self tan is coming off and I can't really exfoliate because my skin is so sensitive. So I just kind of let it naturally come off. But this is great. If you're like in between shades, this is so nice. They have a light, a medium, and a dark as well. So I hope this video was helpful. I hope I didn't talk too much, but I hope most of all you learned something. If you have any questions, as always, please let me know down below. Otherwise, if you're interested in seeing any more videos from me, please subscribe. Make sure to give me a follow on Instagram as well. I'm always posting reels on there of my animals and then quickie little makeup videos. So thanks again for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.